Hey, this is Brad for Rigging Dojo. I just wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to the uh, CG Monks slash CG Monastery um, latest tools and uh, MRS rigging system. We've got uh, a bunch of cool stuff going on, and uh, we've been talking with Josh, who teaches our face rigging class, and uh, kind of early testing all these new tools and, and rigs. So, um, if you haven't been following that, go check them out on the, the Facebook page and their CG Monastery website. There's a lot of good stuff going on. Um, right now, I just wanted to, to touch on a couple things. So, the new um, MRS rigging system is part of the CG Monks toolbox, and um, when you install it, you'll find an MRS menu, and it'll load up MRS Animate. And that's what this little tool is, and this goes along with the MRS rig. So, you can see there's a bunch of animation tools in here for snapping, for showing skeletons, um, for doing all kinds of stuff. You can also filter by control or the part of the character or puppet. And this is great for um, you know anyone who is really used to working with like the HIK rig as far as uh, you know just quick body part selection or um, filtering tools by you know individual selection parts of the rig. And this comes into play for switching. Uh, IKFK switching, um, world space switching, and all that as well. So, like for example, right now the the legs are in um, uh, FK mode, and um, the characters flying around. I'm just been messing with some poses. So, you know, in this in this shot here, um, you know, before he takes off the ground, there's uh, you know he's now in FK mode and switches over. So. I grabbed the, uh, I think I did FK mode. I oh, know I just switched the space. I think so. Yeah, if we if we look over here, the uh, space switch is chest, um, and there's a bunch of different switch options. So uh, you can say puppet, and it's gonna jump to the actual like puppet space. Um, you can go back to front leg root, and um, or like root driver, there's a bunch of different things, COG. But you can see it's moving and jumping around. So that's not what we actually want. I'm gonna go back, undo, undo, undo. Okay, so at this frame, let's say frame 30, I've got this pose and I actually want to change the body a little bit. Um, the problem is right now, if I go select a body part and move it around, um, the feet are gonna stick, right? And that's because their space is uh, not going with the body. If I grab the overall control um, you know I can rotate the whole thing around but that's not very helpful either uh, let's say I want the head to stay look you know where it is but I want to edit the other parts of the pose so um, one of the things that's really nice is you know I can change the the state of the rig with space switching and then set it back so that after I'm done editing this keyframe I don't have to counter animate things. If I want to fix the, the pose, I can just set things to a different space. So for example, I'm gonna grab the head. Um, the other thing I want to point out is when you install the hotkeys, uh, you can always reset them back. Um, if I right click and, uh, sorry, if I run the hotkey, it's gonna give me, by default, um, it's gonna come up in TD mode. So we have all these rigging options to open up the tools and uh, that's great, but if we're actually animating, we want to switch it over to Animate or Puppet. So Puppet actually gives you a lot of the same controls that you have over on the side, so I can switch to that. And now I've got the ability to mirror, so I can uh, like just flip the head pose, for example, um, and hit G to go back and forth and see what, what the flip looks like. Um, I can go in and, of course, uh, switch to different controls, or I can change Orient and Follow. So the, the thing I want to do right now is I want to say, well, you know what? I want to set the, um, the current uh, orient and follow. It's set to neck 2 FK, but what I really want to do is set it to world real quick so I can edit the rest of this character. So I'm going to change orient and I'm going to change follow. So now you can see nothing moved because the menu actually snaps it. And so now I can go in and, and edit this position a little bit. So I'm going to move the body down a little bit and rotate it and leave the head exactly where it was. And um, I can probably do the same thing for the tail. Let's see, if the, the tail has a 
a root mode as well. So I can go in and build up my menu and say uh, change orient to world. And that way, as I go to edit the body here, the tail will again stay oriented. So I want to fix this pose a little bit, rotate the body. Move it around. OK. But I don't want to leave it that way, because that was how I wanted it to interpolate. So now that I've done, done editing on this frame, I'm just simply going to go back and change the orient back to uh, tail driver. I think that's what it was before. And then the head was, was um, the top one, so change follow back to neck. And I'm going to change orient back to neck. So now I've edited my position, but I've snapped everything back to the same interpolation space as it was before. So now I'm going to still get the same animation. It's just that I've edited the pose so that the, uh, the head is now following along. And then I can go ahead and do things like just, just regular edit uh, FK. You know, I can animate this tail exactly as it was. So as he lifts up, we can set some new keys and we can fly along. Um, but again, if I want to edit this in kind of an IK mode, right, it's going to break the tail. And anybody who's watched uh, Richard Lyko's talk lately about uh, kind of rebuilding the rig whenever it's possible, the nice thing is any system that allows you to space switch um, is going to give you the ability to edit these, edit these nodes. So I'm actually not sure if the tail has a switch. Um, it has an FKIK snap, but in this case, the tail doesn't have um, switches down the, down the nodes, which is OK. It's not a big deal. You just you can do other snapping systems. But um, any, any part of the character that's set up with a switch, you can do the same thing. So for the legs, for example, um, again, we come back to the center. And uh, if I grab the starting point and move this character, the feet are stuck. And um, you know I could certainly move them around by you know grabbing all the feet, but um, the other thing is I could do, of course, is just go switch them, repose the character real quick, and uh, then I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these, I'm going to do multi-change space, and I'm going to set it to um, COG, and now all the feet have snapped, and I can grab the COG. Oh, I can move the front feet. Hold on. I must not have snapped them. Ah, because I grabbed the wrong foot control. There we go. COG. Okay. So now I can move the character around and uh, position it how I want without um, worrying about what interpolation is happening below. And if, there, of course, the character's flying, we can start off this way. So, you know, now he's, the feet stay. And then here at this one frame, they're, they're jumping back to uh, world space. But again, because the system is always able to snap to a different parent, um, parent space, or between FK and IK, we can we can always mess with these later. So in this case, uh, we've switched from an FK to an IK rig, and uh, you know we can we can see that we've got a two frame jump here just to do the switch, and uh, I can always go back and sw switch that. Um, grab the switch and do IK snap, and jump it back to uh, an IK rig. Now I've got the foot moving around, and it's animated back, so we know that it's going to go do its thing. So anyway, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that uh, is in the system. And uh, the things I really like, of course, are the ability to mirror um, and symmetrically change something on the rig. It's really handy and fast. I can come here and say push to the other side, and you'll see that the wing on the other side uh, gets gets the same update. Uh, 
this is not optimized at the moment, and uh, so there's still a little bit of lag between the control, but again, this is really, for the amount of work that it saves you, a little bit of lag is not a big deal. So I can do that, and then uh, again, I can push the, push the change over to the other side. Uh, or I can pull the, the other side, say I messed this up, you know, this is an ugly pose, and I want the other one. Without having to switch selections, I can just say pull. It'll go grab the other mirrored side and, and pull the pose back across. So, uh, again, this is really powerful, and uh, the amount of work that gets saved by having kind of these kind of tools built into the rig and having kind of a smart rig based on the Red 9 um, metadata is, uh, is pretty Pretty fantastic. So, again, you know, you get these abilities to, uh, to kind of pose stuff and edit things and, and get everything looking right, and um, you're happy with it. And then you can just say, you know, make sure you're in puppet mode up here or part mode, right? I can just do part and it'll be a little faster, and I can just say push, and it's going to push that over to the other side. So now I've got a really nice starting point and then I can go change this you know, from here. For things like the tail, this is really handy as well. We can go grab kind of a create a pose here, come back somewhere in here. And uh, there's a built-in tween machine. Um, but I, I'm just going to hit mirror and uh, flip the pose for the tail. And so now I've got a really fast tail swish. And I'll flip it again. Flip. And edit it a little bit. So it's, it's really nice to have a rig that is smart about what's going on and uh, the ability to to edit a pose in place by switching your controls to world space. Uh, again, is super handy. If I go ahead and change uh, orient to um, world, and I change the uh, follow to world, again, I can go edit my pose a little bit and not mess up the head location. Edit this position, have him fly a little differently. and then just set this back. Back to neck, because I want FK interpolation. And now we've got this ability to change the pose in place. So I hope that shows off some of the power and the tools that are coming. Um, I'm excited to see this progress and continue. And of course, the system is open source, so if you want to dig into the code and help Josh out or contribute in some way, um, check out our Red 9 course on Rigging Dojo On Demand. And, um, you know, you can learn how to use the metadata system from Red 9 in order to build smart rigs like this. Uh, you can contribute to the code. Um, there's a huge number of tools in here, of course, um, beyond just the MRS rigging system. Um, I've used these tools for years to to uh, go in and combine, let's see if I go to TD rigging utilities, there's um, dynamic parenting tool, there's shape parenting tools, joint building, uh, there's a really powerful uh, ribbon system in here, snapping tools. Um, just a, a huge amount of work has gone into this system, so uh, give it a look and uh, explore it and let Josh know what you like.